Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you just explain that. Yeah. I salute that. Yeah. So we just did the Atlanta Commission. Yeah. That show was amazing. Thank you, bro. Like I don't think it's gonna be it's gonna be a long time before you see that many important people in one room. Passionate about the uh, about about the, yeah. about the culture. That's why that's why I like that's why I wanted to do it that way. I yeah. bro, I'm always fascinated by people. Yeah. Like I love people. Like I've learned from people. But I'm always like like in LA, right, for example, I think the best rap artist to come out of LA ever is Kendrick Lamar. To me, right? I believe that. But I'm not why not Snoop? I got I gotta I gotta hear that. Same reason for same reason for Snoop was more Snoop was more swag, but Snoop quote something that Snoop said that was profound. So quote something that Snoop said that was like whoo. Snoop said it ain't no fun. He was a he was about something, but I'm not gonna say that didn't take no thought. But the right nigga pulled it off. Kendrick is gifted as a rapper. Like he's fucking. Do you see him at the Super Bowl? Yeah. That nigga is different, bro. He's probably one of the he's probably top three most gifted rappers ever. Jay-Z and Ye are probably the only ones I would put above him, but he's the most gifted rapper. That nigga's incredible, bro. Okay. So for me, it's like, but here's my, my point is that I say that. Mm. I don't know how LA niggas feel. LA niggas might feel like nigga, why G that nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I would love to know. Yeah. That's why I did the Atlanta Commission. Okay. Because I wanted people to get an insight. To Atlanta And how we think Like Y'all try to crown our kings Y'all try to crown our goats Yeah Now you can't crown an Atlanta goat No you can't We can People That's what, what, I, what magazine did The 50 top greatest Y'all can't do that for can't, us. You can't do that for us Can't You can't do that for us That's why the rule was You had to have one to high school here Yeah And had to have contribute to the culture But mm -hmm. oh, Atlanta's Atlanta's just shit And I want to put a light on it yeah. And that's why I did it I'm gonna tell you one of my greatest moments <laughs> at that. <laughs> my greatest moment uh, of the whole event was I'm DJing and Ryan Cameron walks past me and I said, "Oh, that's Ryan Cameron." Yeah. I text my mom. I'm like, "I'm in front of Ryan Cameron." Now, to the average person, they might be like, "Oh, that's Ryan that's Cameron." But point. I grew up to Ryan. That's my I point. grew up listening to Ryan Cameron. It's I, a Friday. I it's a Friday. It's the end of like, the year. The like, like you, you come from yeah, Atlanta. You, you rode that school bus, so yep. you was like, "That's what we heard." So that's why I wanted. I wanted to create our own narrative and yeah. I want to help other cities create their own narrative and that's where I'm at. Okay. So the guy show, the Atlanta Commission will be going to other cities. Oh yeah, we're gonna do the Atlanta Commission. Like we had to do it in Atlanta first, but we're gonna do the Atlanta sure. Commission. We're gonna do the LA Commission. And I'm gonna just sit at the table and just cause I wanna learn. Yeah. I wanna know who's the most important. That's dope. Like and why. Yeah. Like we know who Atlanta's guy was, but who's LA guy? Who's yeah. who's New York's guy? I'm gonna like, tell y'all when y'all see this show. I ain't gonna tell y'all who was voted, and you know we ain't gonna let that out the bag yet. <laughs> but <laughs> when y'all see this show, it's gonna spark some debates. But here's the best part: everything sparks debates. Yeah. But now let's vote. Let's vote. And to me, that's what I like the most. It's like yeah. we, we was able to. You can hate Trump all you want. Yeah. The nigga won. He won. <laughs> and then you can hate Biden the next time, but he won. Yeah. That's my point. So it's like let's settle it. Yeah. Let's let's declare a winner today, yeah. and that's what we did. Yeah. Let me ask you: Who is your Atlanta? Executive underdog. Who is the underdog as far as as far as Atlanta executives? Easy. KP. KP. Easy. Salute to KP, man. Easy. Who's Easy. the GOAT? I'ma say LA. LA Reed. LA Reed. Yeah. Nobody better than him. Yeah. They gotta been around everybody. I ain't learned more from that. Nobody in I can add LA my three years with him up mm -hmm. and I haven't learned more from anybody else. Come on. Wow. Can you give me an LA LA Reed gym? Um, age is the most important factor when looking at talent. Ooh, that's one of my questions. That's crazy. Age. Okay, if you, can you all, elaborate you at, on that? Some if you more. look at all the great artists, they all got signed around the same age. What? Fourteen, fifteen. Mm. Name the greatest artist. Name the artist you love the most. Give me some. My f well, you gonna say rappers? You nah, no, no. Give me some artists. Usher. Fifteen. Fourteen came out when he was fourteen. Got signed when he was thirteen. Chris Brown. 13, 14, 15, Rihanna, 13, 14, 15, Justin Bieber, yeah. 15, 14, 13, like Michael Jackson, yeah. Prince got signed when he was 17. Like if you look, the most important factor when looking at talent is their age, but not because age matters, but because age is the measure. Mm -hmm. Like it's like if you've been doing music since, for 10 years and 
you need 10 years to really become like that great. Like if you look at Usher, Usher did Confessions when he was 24. Yeah. That sound when he was 14. Michael Jackson fucking did Thriller, 24. Like it's kind of like that 14 to 24 is where you become who you, you got to be great, but that's when you become like mastery, right? Prince, I think Prince did Purple Rain when he was 24. It's crazy. Age is, so age just means it gives you time to develop and everything else. Okay. But age. So let me, let me ask you this, hypothetically. MC rapper John John Man is 38 years old. He got the hottest record in the country. You want to sign him? Yeah, no, no, no. But here's the thing. Two Chains was Two Chains was one of my favorite rappers of all time. And he's he started when he was older. But here's the thing about Tit. Tit had to change. Yeah. I remember I remember talking to Jeff Dixon. Shout out to Jeff. I love Jeff. And I was like, you know, that time he was Titty Boy. And I was like, and Titty Boy from College Park, so I really cared about him winning. Definitely. And I remember I was telling Jeff, I was like, yo, that nigga just need that. He would be out and he would just look so mad. Like, you would see him in a crowd full of rappers and he'd be the only one like. And I know he was, I know why he was mad. He was mad because he felt unseen. Yeah. But, nigga, you got to smile before you get seen. And when Tit starts smiling and having that fun personality, nigga, he ain't look back. Yeah. So the hard part about age is also it's hard to teach your old dog new tricks. Yeah. And you really can't. The dog just got to want to change. <laughs> sometimes the dog don't want to change. That's a gem, people. That's a gem. Sometimes the dog don't want to fucking change. I'm telling y'all sometimes. You know what, nigga? It's the hardest thing is talk. I have an artist that I just got signed. And I remember we was arguing. And one day he was like, you know, I know you think because I'm older. Da, da, da. And I'm like fucking 17 because you said about age. I said, you're proving my point right now. What do you mean? I said, nigga, if you were 17, you would be more eager to listen. But because you're 25, 26, you feel like you can't tell me nothing. But if I couldn't, if you didn't need a ray, you would be eating without a ray. Mm. So shut the fuck up and get in line. Mm. Learn the game. That's real. Arguing, I don't got time. I don't want to argue with no old <laughs> 30 years old. To my, this is who I am. I'm, I was arguing with another artist. They was like, you don't know my audience. I said, you don't either because mm. if you knew your audience you would have millions of followers yeah i know my audience yeah that's why my following has quadrupled because yeah. i know my motherfucking audience i know what they want i know what they don't want i know you don't know your audience motherfucker so guess what we should do figure out what they want yeah, yeah, yeah. that means go out there and trial and error but artists are afraid of looking bad and i'm not afraid of looking bad mm. i'm not afraid of it that's that fearlessness well, you have to bro yeah. bro you have to be fearless well you you I, I i'm i'm i live in fear every day but you can't allow fear to stop you Charlie, yeah. if i feel fear i'm running towards it so say if i'm like man what's on the other side of that door yeah. nigga i can't let that sit in my body I gotta go get i'm it. going to go see what's on the other side of that like nigga if it's gonna go down let's make it go down but i'm not going to stress myself out saying what is it what is it yeah. i'm just going for it yeah when i run when i'm i'm i don't get i'd rather run to the fire than run away yeah i don't like the way it, i ran my whole life early childhood i don't never want to run again 